I'll help you all out. Hey. Can you tell me a bit about um, who you're playing for this uh, place in the show? Yeah, sure. Uh, I play Dr. Ravi Chakravarti, who's a uh, medical pathologist um, who works at the Seattle Police Department. And his job is to uh, investigate any sort of um, bodies that were under suspicious circumstances, anything that kind of takes note. In, in Seattle, you have, a, have to take a criteria to have an autopsy. So you died in custody or you died in the hospital after a week. So his job is to do that, provide evidence, and send it off. And Liv Moore, uh, Livia Moore, who's the uh, our main character, she works for him. And uh, it's through this one where we get to in the pilot. Um, there's an unknown body, can't be identified, she's Jane Doe, um, and it's her brain that, that Liv consumes, and he catches her, he's the only character in the show that knows her, her secret, um, and she then gets flashes and she's able to solve and piece together the, her murder, um, and that's how the two work together. Um, I don't know about the romance, um, I have no idea what they have in store for that, but they, for him, she, she was this medical marvel, like she's the greatest medical find in modern history, I mean we're talking about a dead person who's alive, um, she's inheriting flashes and traits of people, so his enthusiasm kind of brings her out of her shell a little bit, there's no disgust, there's no alienation, the most, she's the most incredible thing he's stumbled across in his medical career um, and he helps um, and through that and he's also working on a cure and it's something that she had, hadn't even contemplated was was an option for her she thought this was it he gives her hope um, and together they they become this team um, and are able to use her condition positively into the uh, iZombie comics or just comics? Mm. Comics, yeah. I mean, I um, I read I read the iZombie comics for uh, from just research. I just wanted to get a beat. And while we're not um, an, a direct adaptation of, of their work, you know, we're not Watchmen, we're not shot for shot, we're not nothing like that. We're more like Old Boy. You know, we took sort of DNA from it and um, and took some of the core elements of the of the comic book and and, uh, and brought that into the show. Um, but as a, I'm a huge comic book fan, and I mean, it, it's not like they had to sell it to me. Why I had to be involved? I'd have done anything. But the, the, um, comic books are, have been a huge part of my life anyway. So it's just, it just was perfect that it happened to be this particular production. Besides zombies, what other supernatural creatures do you guys face? At the moment, it's just zombies. Um, I mean, I, I know in the comic book they have like weird terriers or werewolves and, um, and they have vampires um, and we've been asked a lot like you know like is that coming in and at the moment it's we're literally staying with the zombie element longevity wise those elements may get introduced I have no idea but we're strictly staying with the, with the zombie apocalypse for now For his own games? I think it's protective. Um, he, I mean, in the, in the character brief that I was given the, uh, when I was auditioning, it, it said that he was a bit socially inept and he doesn't have a filter. And I, I didn't want to do the generic thing of playing a pathologist and saying, oh, well, because he cuts open dead bodies, he doesn't like people, he doesn't like human connection. And no, no, I didn't, that, that didn't appeal to me, and that's too, too easy. But he does care about her, and I think that, I don't think he would, I, I don't know, you know, I might have to eat my words, but I don't think he would sell it down the river for his own games. I think he genuinely uh, cares for her. Um, and 
that he it's it's just it's it's, an, it's a disease that he wants to cure. I don't know if he wants everyone else to know about it, but it's, it's something that he and I think he enjoys being one of the only people that knows this. This is, this is like, only two people in the entire world know about this, and, and he's one of them. And, and yeah, so I think he enjoys that. So this early on. Uh, you have your own ideas for your character. Are you already pitching things to, to the yeah. yeah, all the time. I, uh, I pitched lightsaber fight. <laughs> um, I... To be honest, I, I I haven't really like I'm happy to do wherever whatever that I, I trust Rob and Diane implicitly. Um, I I kind of just I know that where we're going with the show as well. Um, I get out of the morgue or my character gets out of the morgue and his investigations take him onto the street, take him into Seattle, and that's enough. You know, knowing that there is that, that, that element coming because in the pilot my character doesn't leave that morgue. Um, so knowing that that's happened, that that's. Oh, cool. thank you guys very much.